While these tomatoes are still young and tender, they just came out and got planted in this hot soil with this hot sun and there's wind out here. So I want to sort of protect them. So what we're going to do is install a shade cloth like you see on this bed right here. Hi, this is Brienne with Plum Fabulous Foods. We're dedicated to education in organic gardening, family farming, and healthy food production. If you enjoy our videos, check out our website and subscribe below. God bless. So this is easy to do. So we take our nine foot section of PVC pipe. Now I used to use longer pieces. I had 12 foot pieces before. And what I have found over the years is that the hoops that they made were just too tall. And so one of the things I really like to cover my beds with are sheets. I can get these sheets at a secondhand store for a dollar a piece. Um, they last for a couple years. They allow rain to permeate through. They provide a lot of shade. Uh, if it's cold, I can open them up and they reach all the way to the ground when my hoops are this small. When I had taller hoops, they were not able to reach all the way to the ground. And so that was a problem. And so all I do is just push these into the dirt. And this is why it's really nice to have this great soft soil because it's easy to do that. So I'm going to come through and sink these about every four feet. Okay, now you can buy fancy shade cloth. Uh, you can buy um, the, the woven covers that go over beds like this if you want. Um, it's an added expense. I'm happy with the sheets. So all I've done is taken a couple. This is a 20 foot long bed and I have three sheets here that I just sewed together. And when I'm using them just for shade like this, I like to go ahead and fold them in half. And then I'm going to attach them to the PVC pipes with these little clamps. So we've used all kinds of different clamps throughout the years. We've used oversized binder clips. These are the favorite things I've used. We've used different kind of clamps that we've gotten from the store. But all it is to make these clamps is you take your PVC pipe, this is a half inch pipe, and you remove one third of the circumference. So if you were to measure around and find the circumference of this circle and then remove one third of that, and uh, we just do that with a jigsaw, then it makes this perfect little clamp. It is really easy to clamp on and off and it holds really, really well. So we've already had this bed, went through a terrible 26 mile per hour windstorm last week. I had the sheets um, dropped all the way down to the side because a lot of times it's the wind that can damage baby plants and not so much the heat and the weather. And these clamps, held up just fine. I didn't have a single clamp pop off. So I'm really pleased with the way these work and they're very economical. So I just keep a handful in my pocket. I can go along. You can see that you can do this by yourself. I do like to try to get king size sheets. It's okay if it's not perfect. On these end ones, you can go ahead and pop one on top. And that's going to give them some good protection from that hot overhead sun. And that's it. We're done.